need to do for these tutorials to be able to follow them exactly step by step is set up your computer with a few things just as standard. Um, this will help you when you go through the tutorial. So the first thing we're going to do is set up some folders where you can save things that you download. Um, my instructions in these tutorials will take you to these folders to find things that you've downloaded. You don't have to use these folders but um, if you choose to save files somewhere else you'll need to remember yourself where you saved them and then find them afterwards. If you're not that good with files and folders it's probably easier for you to follow these instructions now. So the first thing you want to do is click on the start button and then click on the computer button. Now this will give you your computer. It might look a bit different from mine but it will have some things that are similar which is your disk drives and you'll have your local disk C and then most people will have a CD or a DVD drive and some other bits and pieces but the main thing we want to um, look at here is the disk C. Double click on that and in there you'll have whatever folders are in there. At the top you'll see there's some things like organize, share with, burn and then a new folder button. Click on the new folder button and what you're going to do is create a new folder. Now when you click on that new folder button it you can see here it's created a new folder and it's called it new folder or if you've already got some new folders it'll call it new folder with a number after it. We wanted to give it a name that's a bit easier to use than that so we're going to call it cell phone C-E-L-P-H-O-N-E-S I love computers and then press the enter button on your keyboard now you'll see that folder there. Now double click on that folder and you'll see inside this folder is empty because we haven't put anything in it yet. Now what we're going to do is create some more folders inside that folder. So click on new folder again. Now at the top of your screen in this area here which is called your address bar you should see computer, local disk C and cell phones I love computers. Now this is where you are in your computer's disk drive at the moment. You may also see it looking like that. The C colon backslash and the folder. Uh, they both mean the same thing, it's just different ways that they get displayed. Now we've created this new folder in here and you can see it's called new folder. So we're going to rename that. So what you do is right click on new folder and choose rename. Now you'll see that you've got the words new folder highlighted. So now all you need to do is with those words highlighted just type in the new name and we'll call this one Mozilla M-O-Z-I-L-L -L, L -L -A, space Firefox as the next thing we're going to do is download a browser and install it so that you can use the same browser for all of your um, tutorials and therefore the instructions because different browsers such as Internet Explorer and different versions of Internet Explorer the boxes and the screens and the messages that pop up can look different depending on the version you're on. So um, I could be showing you a pop-up screen and a message in my tutorial for the version of Internet Explorer that I'm using which looks totally different from your version. So by downloading Mozilla Firefox we'll all have the same browser and therefore the boxes and the messages that you see in these tutorials you'll be able to follow step by step on your own computer. So now we've renamed that and we've just clicked outside it or you can press enter again and you've got that folder. So now at your address bar you should have either C colon backslash cell phones I love computers or computer local disk cell phones I love computers and then inside just one folder called Mozilla Firefox. Now that's all we need for now we will create some more folders later. So now you can close your my computer window here. Okay, the next thing we are going to do is download and install Mozilla Firefox. So now what you need to do is open your browser, which is probably Internet Explorer, by clicking on Start, then Programs or All Programs, and then usually near the top, sometimes it will be under an, a Microsoft folder, but normally up the top here you'll have Internet Explorer, or you may have Internet Explorer 64-bit. Whichever one you want to use doesn't matter. Click on that to open Internet Explorer. Now, at the top, let's just go through some of the things that you have in your browser and the terms I'll be using so you know what they mean. Address bar is the first one. Now this is your address bar here. This is where you put things 
like when you hear um, an advertisement for a website that says go to dub 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 dot blah 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 this is where you put that dub 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 dot so you can see here usually the format is http colon slash slash and then dub 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 dot whatever the website is that you want to go to so for this one what we're going to do is go to google now it's already in mine um, but just to show you you don't normally need to type all of this here. Normally your browser will figure that out for itself. So for example I can just type g-o-o-g-l-e dot com to go to Google, press enter and it will go there and it automatically puts all that in. So that's just one handy thing that saves you typing it out. If I wanted to go to say the New Zealand Herald website I can just type n-z-h-e-r-a-l-d dot co dot n-z and there it is. Or if I want to go to Facebook, facebook.com. You'll also notice when I'm typing things that this menu shows up here, which is places I've been to before. You can also save yourself typing by just clicking on them. And there we go. So now what we want to do is go to Google and do a search for Mozilla, M O Z I L L A. Firefox download and then press enter on your keyboard and the first link we've got here Mozilla Firefox web browser free download now what is Mozilla Firefox it's basically a um, alternative to Internet Explorer it's completely free um, it's open source and it's completely safe and it doesn't come with any spyware or anything nasty like that um, so what we're going to do is we're going to download this and we're going to use it for um, a lot of these tutorials so click on that link and you'll see there we've got Firefox free download now depending on the version of Internet Explorer you are using you will get different options when you click on this download link So I'm just going to go through the most common one for the most recent version of Internet Explorer and that would be to click on this. I'm just and so now if you're using the most recent version of Internet Explorer, what will happen when you click on that download button is you will get this yellowy orangey thing at the bottom of your screen. You may also get um, do you want to run or save this file? A pop up. You can see here the Firefox has actually got instructions as well for you, which work quite well. So, whether you get this box here under number one, or whether you get this yellow box like I have down here, um, pretty much the instructions from there are the same. What you want to do is choose in this box here under number one, you need to click the save button. If you've got, like me, this yellowy orange piece at the bottom of your screen, you'll see that you've got save here, and beside that you've got a little down arrow. Click on that and choose save as. Now this brings up a save as folder, um, file browser. What you want to do here is, you'll see at this side you've got what's called your navigation bar, and you should have things like my documents and various other things and somewhere in here you should have computer and if you expand that you should find your local disk C so that's what you're looking for if you can't find that another way that quite often works is just double clicking up the top here I see under save as you've got this piece here which is called an address bar this is an address bar for your computer similar to the address bar we talked about before in Internet Explorer but it refers to the files and folders on your actual computer rather than files and folders on the web. Either way it explains where they are so you can just click on here and type C and then colon backslash and then type cell phones oops, space I love computers and you can press enter and that will take you to the folder. The other way is at the side here to go to computer, local disk, double click on local disk and scroll down and find cell phones, I love computers, double click on that and you'll see here this Mozilla Firefox folder that we created early, double click on that and then click save. 
now that will do its thing and it will download so depending on how long um, how fast your connection is it may take a couple of minutes or only a few seconds or it may take longer once it's set you should get a message popping up once it's finished to say it's downloaded what you then can do is click on start click on computer and click on double click on local disk C double click on cell phones I love computers double click on Mozilla Firefox and you'll see here Firefox set up 901.exe. Now the 901 is the version of Firefox that is the most recent. Um, I'm recording this at the start of January 2012. If you're looking at this video after that you might find that the number is different like 902 or 903 or 921 or 10 something. That's fine it's just that Firefox will have released a, a later version than this one here. Double click on this and you'll get a security warning like this that says something along the lines of do you want to run this and you'll see there's a warning saying warning files from the internet can be useful but can potentially harm your computer that's a standard warning that pops up every time you try to run a file like this which is going to install a program so this warning does not mean that every file you run is going to harm your computer it means some files like this, if you don't know where you've downloaded them from, could harm your computer. In this case, we have downloaded this from the Mozilla site, which is a reputable site, so we know that it's safe to run it. So we're going to run the file by clicking on the Run button. Now you'll see an extracting message, which, depending on the speed of your computer, again, some of these things may take longer on your computer than they take on mine or they may take less time. After you've got the extracting um, finished you will come to this message which says welcome to the Mozilla Firefox setup wizard this wizard will di guide you through the installation yada 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 um, click next to continue so click on next choose the type of setup you prefer then click next so click standard Firefox will be installed to the following location and it will already have put something in there which is usually um, C, program files, um, the x86 you see here, if you have a computer which has a 64-bit processor you will see that, if you have an older computer that does not it will just simply say C, program files, Mozilla Firefox, either way is fine. Um, whatever it says here that's fine you can just click on the next button and from there um, now you can see here I've got an upgrade button here that's because I already have Mozilla Firefox installed if you haven't installed Mozilla Firefox before you won't see an upgrade button you will see a next button that's fine either way just click on the upgrade or the next button and you will get some messages popping up like I just did then and after that it should say it's been installed to close this wizard and it says launch Firefox now leave that ticked because we're going to use Firefox for our next task so click on finish okay so now what we're going to do is download openoffice.org so to do that you go to open office or one word dot org you can see I've been there before so that's already kind of showing up press enter on your keyboard and we go to this site here. Now you'll see on the right here there's a few different links, product, download, support, etc. Click on download. Now we're going to download the most recent version of OpenOffice Org for um, Windows. And to do that, click on the download button here, green bar, and you'll be taken to this you are about to download. Now it will say you have chosen to op open and you'll see there it's 000 then some numbers win86 install wjrenus.exe which is basically the install file. It's quite a big file as you can see there it says 151 MB which is 151 megabytes. That won't take too long as long as you're on ADSL. If you're on dial up that could take quite some time so um, you might want to click on that and then go off and make yourself a cup of coffee or something and 